Hello and welcome to the daily coaching lockdown football training session. So today's session number 19 and today I have four key parts of the session for you. So we're going to start off with a warm up, then we're going to move into a passing and moving exercise, then we've got a goalkeeper reaction exercise and then we'll be finishing off with a ball circuit exercise. Okay. Now for the warm up all you need is a space and a ball. So once you've got your space and once you've got your ball we're ready to go. Cool, to finish warm up, okay, what you're going to do is you're going to put your ball in your space, okay, so I'm going to put my ball into the floor like that. Now, although we have a ball in this exercise, okay, or this warm up, we're not actually physically going to be moving the ball, okay, the ball's going to be staying where it is, we're going to use it as a type of object just to help us do our activities and our movements around, okay. So, I have three different types of um, movements that we're going to create. The first one, okay, is jumping. So what we're going to need to do is you're going to stand by the side of the ball. Okay, for about 30 seconds, all you're going to do is you're going to jump over your ball, making sure you don't make contact with the ball. Okay, so we're going to go to the side, so left, right, to the left. Try and keep on your toes. Try and keep nice and light, even if you need some more breaks in between, that's fine. If you can, just have a relief. Shuffles forwards, 
backwards and to the side, okay? So treat your ball as if it's in the shape of a square. So I'll start at one of the corner points over here. The whole time I'm going to be facing forward. Knees slightly bent, shoulders apart. I'm shuffling, shuffling, shuffling. Shuffling, shuffling, shuffling. Shuffling, shuffling, shuffling. Okay. jumping, okay, so keeping it light on our feet, jumping forwards, backwards, side to side, okay, shuffling around the ball as well, moving forwards to the side, moving backwards, okay, thinking about the position of our feet, so our footwork, okay, and then obviously as well, we're making some movements where we're moving our feet, our left and our right foot in the direction of a step over, okay, so really, really making sure that all these movements were game realistic, match realistic movements that you will find yourself doing in a game or in an exercise, okay? So obviously physically preparing us really, really well, okay? Really important that one is that we only do them on short, sharp bursts, so about 30 seconds at a time, because obviously they are quite physically demanding exercises, but like I said, gets us physically ready, okay, and warmed up for the exercises, and also as well gets our body and our um, feet nice and loose and flexible for the activities as well. Cool, now we're gonna move into our passing and moving exercise, and for this one, you're gonna need a space, you're also going to need a flat surface, okay, so a door or a wall inside or outside. You're also going to need some objects. Now, I've got two poles, okay, which are going to create one long line of objects. If you don't have access to poles, then obviously you can get your hands on jumpers, jackets, trainers, and just put them in a long line, okay, so it creates uh, quite a lot of length within the objects and the distance in which they're covering, okay? So once you've got your space, once you've got your flat surface, once you've got your objects, and once you've got your ball, we're ready to go. Cool. So for this part of the moving exercise, what we're going to do is we're going to get your line of objects and set them up like so. So they're, they're covering actually quite a long distance in terms of length. Okay, obviously if you don't have that many you know, objects and you have really long objects, like maybe like a ruler or a piece of string, okay, or anything like that, then obviously you can just keep it to one object, making sure that there is a decent length um, within the um, area of the uh, objects that you're covering or objects you're covering, okay? Um, then you can put that directly in front of the flat 
So, okay, and what's going to happen is we're going to do it in two different stages. The first one is you're going to start at one end of your object, okay? Uh, then this exercise, okay, is both looking at our passing and our moving a little bit. It's also quite relevant potentially to say, for example, a winger. Okay, you're going down the wing and then you're looking to try and get a cross or a pass, couple of pass, pass back in into the middle of the pitch. Alright, so as an example, what you're going to do, two ways to do it. First one is you're dribbling on this area, stop, pass, stop, stop, dribble, 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 stop. Although our head should be kept up when we're doing this exercise, okay, it's really important that as we obviously make the pass towards the flat surface, okay, we actually look towards it as well. Just like we'll do in the game. We're gonna look up, we're gonna know where you're aiming your, your pass for, okay? Stop, 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 stop.
next is if I can avoid stopping the ball before I actually make the pass. So as an example, two key areas, okay? So actually the execution of the pass, okay? So understanding how to make the pass when receiving it, to control it, then be on the move again, dribbling the ball down the side or down, down along the length of the objects which you had, okay? Then obviously again, making the pass, receiving it, controlling it, and then making these movements over a repetitive amount of times, okay? So that's the first element. And the second element was the touch, okay? So it was making the movement with the ball, make the pass, the touch to then push the ball into the new direction in which you want to move. Now that's key, okay? Because obviously, as we mentioned within previous sessions around passing and moving, obviously once you make your pass, you don't just want to say still, obviously because then it's going to create uh, less space and time to be able to react for defenders to be able to come closer to you. So it's really important that that touch, okay, whether it be the inside of our feet, whether it be the outside of our feet, helps to take that ball, the first initial touch takes that ball in a new direction. So we can start moving straight away, okay? And that's going to help us with those gain realistic movements, okay? Receiving the ball back on the move again, okay? And obviously we related it potentially to a winger, so we're going down the wing and then obviously making a cross or a pass back into the middle area, so then obviously receiving it um, with the ball and then obviously going down the wing again, okay? So trying to make these um, exercises relevant to in-game moments. Cool. Now we're going to move into our next exercise, and for this, it's going to be a goalkeeper reactions exercise, okay? It's going to involve a lot of movement with our hands. So throwing, catching, bouncing. And for this one, you need a space, you're gonna need a flat surface again, so a door or a wall, indoors or outdoors, and you need three objects. Now I've got cones, but again, as always, if you don't have cones, maybe this takes three of the objects from the last exercise, okay? So jumpers, jackets, trainers, toilet rolls, cans, anything you can get your hands on, and obviously you need your ball. So once you've got your space, once you've got your flat surface, once you've got your three objects, and once you've got your ball, we're ready to go. Cool, so for this goalkeeper reaction exercise, what you're going to do is you set out your three objects like so, just so they're directly in front of your flat surface, okay? Then what's going to happen is that each of these objects is going to have a different number. So this is going to be object number one, object number two, and object number three. Now at object number one, you're going to perform simply trying to see if you can get your feet shoulder width apart, and you're just going to throw the ball up, catch, up, catch, up, catch, like so, okay? You do it about 30 seconds. If you want to, you can keep on your toes if you're doing it. Basically, some really good movement going in there. If you want to, you can add a little crack in between just to get some different type of reactions and get that thinking psychologically as well. Okay, it's not just as simple as throwing and catching. Catch your eyes, if you want to as well. Okay, so again, like I said, you get some real reaction within our hands and we're not just waiting for the ball to drop. In our hands as well. Okay, more. Okay, couple we need to do is go back in a second. Okay, and so on. Okay, and then little reactions in the middle for the cut in. Uh, just again, just to try and get the people up physically and that's uh, mentally moving and, and aware as well, okay, rather than just throwing and catching. 
is or that's the case. Of course, if you're the young grade group, then you may just start off by doing that, that's be fine. Then we're going to number two. So number two, we're going to do a chest pass um, against the flat surface and catch it, okay? Keep it on the toes again. too many learning points okay it was more performing repetitive movements okay so understanding how to bounce the ball catch it throw the ball catch it um, possibly throw the ball in different directions as well so out in front of you and upwards as well okay and just trying to create realistic moments within a game that a goalkeeper may have to face okay with the ball coming at them in different directions having to move forwards backwards okay or jump up as well to be able to react 
get their hands on the ball, keep possession of it and keep control of it so then obviously they can perform their next movement as well, okay? So it's really important within that one that again, a lot of repetition happens just so you can become comfortable and confident in actually executing these movements of the catching, the throwing um, and the um, bouncing of the ball as well, okay? And then obviously as well, we add in an element of reaction. Again, really important in a goalkeeper's game, okay? Understanding when and how to move in different directions and obviously to perform and execute different types of movements as well, okay? Really, really key. Cool, now we're gonna move into our next exercise. And for this one, it's our ball circuit exercise. And for this one, you need a space. You need two long objects. So again, I've got two poles. Okay, if you don't have access to poles, then again, just get your hands on quite a few different objects and you can create two lines of objects. So putting objects um, alongside each other. So you can create two different long uh, objects or covering over a longer distance. And you need a ball. So once you've got your space, once you've got your two long objects, and once you've got your ball, we're ready to go. Right, for this ball circuit exercise, what we're going to do is inside the space, we're going to set up with two long objects like so. So they're facing opposite each other with a space in between, okay? So now remember, if you don't have two long objects, just get a few objects and just put them in a line, just making sure that they make a decent length, okay, similar to the length of this, okay? Um, and obviously it's in a straight line for the, the spaces in between both as well. Now what's going to happen is you're going to start by one of the objects, set of objects. Okay, and you're just going to take lots of different touches in here for about 30 seconds, okay, so then it depends on obviously how long you want to go on for, okay, and how um, physically demanding you're fighting the exercise. We're just getting lots of touches in, okay, we're going to try and give you trouble, the opposite side, change direction, back again, and forward. Okay, so you're going to back, change direction, and try and avoid making it with the objects.
control these movements, but obviously the more frequently the ball is moving, uh, obviously the more times the ball's going in different directions, the quicker you're having to react, okay? That's why you see in your seat, your body, okay, you move in different positions, and it's requiring you to use your left hand, right foot, head, and of these different parts of the seat to help move the ball, direct the ball, and keep it under control. Cool, final one now, okay? This is a fun one, I suppose. Um, this time, just the same thing, close up to the middle area. Okay, so when you come to here, now I'll chip in the ball over the object. Okay, look, touch, 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 and so on. Okay, so go for about 30 seconds. Really just make sure that movement over the object is a controlled movement. Okay, so we're not just thinking we just need to get it over it and it goes away from us. It's a controlled movement, we get it up under control once we're over and then we're back on the move again, okay? Three, two, one, and go. Three, two, three, two, three, two, three, two, three, two, Give it a try, see how you get on, see how creative you can be. Cool, so that's the end of session 19. Just very quickly to recap on some of today's key points, okay? So today's exercises, we really tried to relate them to in-game moments, okay? And relevant to different positions on the pitch, okay? It was really important that we was making replicated movements, whether it was with the ball or without the ball, okay? So obviously when we've done our warm-up, we were making realistic movements in terms of the shuffling and the types of footwork that we need to do on a pitch. Okay, um, then thinking about the type of um, explosive movements we might need to do as well, so jumping over the ball, okay, obviously moving in different directions as well. Then obviously when we had the ball, it was all about trying to replicate movements such as obviously traveling with the ball, okay, moving in different directions, using different parts of the feet, using both of the feet, combining our movements together, okay, and then the passing and moving exercise, it was all about passing the ball, receiving the ball, thinking about touches to take the ball into a new direction and get us ready and prepared to take our next movement straight away, okay. Again, in a game, you're not going to get too many moments where you're going to be able to stay still and you obviously don't want to stay still. So it's really important we think about the next movements that we're doing, the continued movements. We're doing these exercises at quite a high intensity, okay? So obviously it's okay to break it down and obviously work on the technique at first, okay? But then once we get comfortable and confident with the technique, it's really about performing these exercises at a high intensity, okay? Really, really important. So with today's exercises, like I said, Lots of repetition, okay? Try and understand whether or not you're an outfield player or a goalkeeper, which exercises are relevant to you, and really understanding how you can relate them to in-game moments, scenarios, and situations, okay? Really, really key. Cool. As always, I really hope you liked today's session. Please make sure you subscribe, like, comment, interact with the video, let us know how you get on, share some of that good feedback, okay? Let us know any type of sessions which you want to see coming up, and obviously try and see if we can get them involved in it as well. But as always, I hope to see you in the next session. Take care, enjoy it, and I'll see you soon.